What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Afan, and today we'll be watching Witcher Season 2, Episode 8, which is the last episode this season, the finale known as Family. So, if you want to see the full length reaction, link to that is in the description down below on my Patreon. I also uploaded movies earlier there as well. So yeah, check it out. Now then, last episode had a lot of uh, exposition, a lot of setup, a lot went down as well. Some people were, well, critically wounded. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Frangella just about had enough of uh, Nilfgaard and um, yeah, she went ham. And Amir's coming and Kahir is going to tell him what happened. And so that's what's going down there. On the other side, the elves lost their baby. So the baby that was born in the episode before that one has been murdered by someone by whom I'm not entirely sure. I thought it might be Dijkstra because he has been keeping close tabs on Sintra. That's where they are. I keep thinking it's Nilfgaard. It's Sintra. It's just with the Nilfgaardians because they've taken over Sintra now. So I thought maybe it's him because the Dara did tell the owl, which is like a messenger or whatever, about the baby and how that's given him hope and he now cares about the elves and he no longer wants to be the spy for Dijkstra and so I was like maybe it's him is it guy here because guy here did say that let me handle it if the elves doesn't want to do what Nilfgaard wants them to do so is it him is it Francesca because Francesca was told to deal with it is this just her way of dealing it with it but then she did come out and kill all those Nilfgaardian generals I think that that's what it was so I'm not sure but um I, I like the politics of it all I mentioned this in the last one as well there's a lot of backbiting going on planning and stuff behind each other's backs and I'm looking forward to the finale seeing how they will finish it there's a lot going on with Siri and Geralt as well Siri in particular how she's like this gateway or whatever to other worlds or something she sees all these monoliths or she can break them and I don't know she's got like sp some special powers that has to do something with uh, these monoliths and these monoliths are like gateways monsters are coming out of it from another universe something along those lines I'm not entirely sure about that one but there's a lot going on that's the thing there's a lot of information and complex sort of plot going on there's this whole deathless mother thing right we learned her name in the last one as well and the episode ends on the deathless mother getting freed and then sort of what i think is the deathless mother the spark thingies going into Siri or so it looks like and then her eyes shine so I think it might have possessed her I don't know we'll find out in a second but yeah without any further ado let's do this da -dum. Cirilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon. do you think this is a joke Fiona that dude wanted to name the baby Fiona right the elven baby it's a vision she does get visions right or dream or something what the fuck's going on <laughs> Yeah, watch her mouth. Not just her, but everyone. We need more mouse act, man. These people are very foul mouth. I was gonna say, she looks like she's, like, fresh. So, like, she, she's a princess or something. Like, with nice clothes and stuff. Oh, she's in Kermoren, but... Yeah, Visimir showed her this area, right? That's where they keep all the weapons and stuff. What? Geralt! <laughs> so the whole way she's just been screaming, Geralt. We have to protect him. I. <laughs> I like how they italicize the eye. I don't like Jennifer. <laughs> I know she didn't do it though. That's uh, something that I do like. It's just weird. I've talked about this already. Like, the whole last season she spent wanting a child and now she's ready to kill a child or sacrifice a child. I she's possessed I just realized which I don't know why I just realized that because I did know that she just killed a witcher she's gonna kill mo more yes she is there goes another one and another one to three there were like how many I don't know how many or only like seven, eight or something, or maybe even less. Where'd she get that dress from? She able to summon a dress from her dreams? An old woman in a black robe. It's full of swear. She killed them. 
How did you escape? I screamed. And that didn't cause any damage. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that? It didn't work for me. Nope. Blood on her face. Dagger in hand with blood. Yeah? Shouldn't there a medallion like... Tell me what you want. Those eyes. <laughs> the medallion tree, eh? Ooh, he's going after her. Let's go. Grab all the elixir you can find. Yeah, let's go, Papa Vesemir. When you took Eskil down, it broke me. But you were right. It had to be done. Same as now. Hmm. Be eliminated. Also, Triss warned him, so... Just don't kill out of fear. They kill to save life. I said that feels like bullshit now. No, it doesn't. I mean, you are saving lives, right? She's just going around killing people. What is this one up to? I don't... I don't trust her. <laughs> she did the right thing at the end, but I don't trust her. She's too erratic. She does whatever she wants. She doesn't think too much. You know what I mean? Like... Our actions half the time don't even make sense. Oh, come on! Oh, fuck. Fucks. <laughs> come on, humble bard! Oh, that looked beautiful. Oh. He didn't need me anymore. He had other ways of getting what he wanted. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I need you to gather some horses. It's all out war? Maybe? Potentially? And then the last one they said we don't want to wage war. I don't have a choice. Like this. Oh, yay, a little stone you've saved. <laughs> I love you, Skier. Give him the Jesper. You mean the Jesper. <laughs> what witches do best? Make a potion. I thought what witches did best was witching. Okay, that was shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the actual Siri is here. I thought that was Vil Vil Vilgefort. You know that mage with Tissaia? That one. Fact that you exercise to come with respect. So this is the actual series. She's stuck here in a dream world. Oh, is this a different universe? Like a different version, different variant. It's a different variant of Loki of Siri. You think me too stunned. <laughs> the dance. I think she was wearing green, wasn't she? Last time. She would not love to. Martin. <laughs> She's like, who's that? That's not Siri. What? She's still here? The elves. Some of them have gone. Found down the ladder of their child. All fingers point to Redania. So that's what she meant. Someone will need to explain them the treachery that happened here. Why is she so important to you, Frangela? She's my friend. No. Volethemer. That's the reason. The baby gave them hope, reason to live rather than die fighting. It's mysteriously murdered. Now, they're off to raise the kingdoms of our enemies. Yep. And because of Game of Thrones, I mean, uh, Lord of the Rings, now I know what raise means. Your plan. And I would never do that. Hmm. Yourself, Fringilla. When Amir arrives, I need to rave. Yep. So let me. I was thinking the same. Was it Fringilla? I'm not sure though. So they think it's Dijkstra, the elves. The elf guardians are gonna use it as their own thing. They're gonna claim it, or Fringilla's gonna claim it. Who's that actually though? Hey, why are they shouting? They. They all know it's not Siri, so why are they calling after her? Release her, and you can have me. It's too late for that. Yeah, I was gonna say, why would she want Geralt when she's got something way more stronger? Oh, what is that? Is that a monolith? What the fuck? Yes. Indeed. Oh, so she's gonna use that to go to another world or something? Well, she shattered it. Whoa, okay, summoning monsters, eh? Erden. I thought it was Yerden. Or is it Yerden? They just said Erden. Or is it both? Probably both. Well, Yennefer, I don't see how things can get any wrong. He needs to get this thing to Geralt. 
Another one down? Oh, well. They're all dying. Heat! And oh, you can't hear me. He can. He's got the intense searing another one dead. No. Uh oh, he's going after Siri, isn't he? Yep, 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 yep. Are we gonna get Vesemir versus Siri? Stay strong, Siri. You marry Martin Marbury, you'll continue quite the exceptional bloodline. Gross. <laughs> She said then season one. Siri, fight this. Stay strong, Siri. Do not give in. <laughs> That's the, what was the name? Doppelganger or something? Your father will be so disappointed he doesn't get a dump. Father? Dooney. Is that Dooney? I don't remember the actual, I just remember like a, what was it, what's it called? A porcupine or something? Whoa, what's that on? Sister, there are other ways. Oh, she feeds on pain. Did she? What the fuck is that? Did she kill the baby, the elven baby? Ooh. Is that good enough? Don't you cut the head off? Well, you split the head, it's kind of same. Right? No? I don't know. They say that he, they ate again. <laughs> it sounded like she was saying they say. Starts off in English, then goes into. Vesemir! Just heal, just like that. Ah, oh, finally. All right, cool. We got two down. There's two more. One, one more, right? Yeah. You can hear us. Come home. I've missed you so much. You've been right here. She didn't know her mother, though, right? Mother passed away in birth, or when she was a baby. You hear us, girl? Siri, make it stop. Be with us. You belong here. But she should know this is not real, though, right? She already know what happened in Sintra. I'm not going anywhere. Unless I write this wrong. I can be the vessel. No. For her. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That already dead. Shut up. Everything, Siri. Let me give you everything I have. Ooh, I felt that, man. It isn't real. Siri, you belong with us. We belong together. <laughs> Which father? And we need you. I have to go home. And she's back. If you can pull monsters through the monolith, you can send one back again. You're gonna send Yennefer to another world? Make it happen. Oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> All three of them are going in there? Yay, she got mommy, daddy, <laughs> both in there. Where the hell are they? Oh. Oh, okay. That was easy. Why? Why is she getting to the soldier? Child of the Elder Blood, starry eyed daughter of chaos, join our hunt. Your place is among us. You are ours. Got him back. Where? Kermoran? Yep. Alright, cool. So she can now do the portal thing properly. Oh my god. And Yennefer's. Wow, okay. Are those the race of Morg? The wild hunt. Mm. We're safe now, thanks to you. 
That's all that matters. Well, some of them are dead thanks to you as well. <laughs> and always as well with the mayor boys, too. You got magic? She got her magic. All right. <laughs> One big happy family, eh? No. <laughs> Don't you see all these dead bodies? Like, oh, bro. I like you, Eskir, but <laughs> time and place. I saw the wild hunt. I think that's the name of the. We need to gather more supplies. La the third game, right? I do. Maeve. Queen Maeve. Ooh. I'd like to see some more of the boys. Princess Arella created far less trouble for us when she was dead. Put a bounty on the girl. And anyone who protects her. It's quite barbarous. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Welcome to the Brotherhood, sister. We will be focused on get. Oh. That's what happened. We got our revenge. Let it end there. I should go. You got more than revenge, honestly. When the humans arrived, we welcomed them as peers, and it led to a mass grave we dug ourselves. I don't want revenge. I want justice. Yeah. Revenge, justice. Yeah, no. There is a girl. It's the Cirilla of Sintra. <laughs> She's in the chair. She's a hen? <laughs> what did you say? She's a hen. Yeah. She's elder blood. The one Ethelie prophesied. He's saying she could save us. <laughs> The owl and this bald prick. I'm saying word is out about the girl. Well, I dare say things just got more fun, Philippa. Oh, Philippa, I just heard about her in the Witcher 2 game. Philippa Eilhart, literally yesterday. You know that, that, um, I'm in mean that part with King Henselt and the rock thing and... Anyways, so that... You're all again. Okay. I don't forgive you, Yennefer. I know I've hurt you, but I can't help but wish you could begin again. Is that your last wish? <laughs> You're the only person who's helped to control our powers. As if I'd trust anyone else with them. Villain Treadon Math told us we were made for each other. Destined. That guy, his name, oh my god. Villain Treadon and <laughs> The Golden Dragon dude, right? Forgot his English name, what was it? Jack Black Paws or something? Uh Man, I love the way she blinks her eyes. It looks like th it takes a lot of effort for her to blink her eyes. You know, like a little child when they're first learning how to how to do anything, really. I believe I know what Volus Mir wanted from you. Those monoliths that you shatter, those could be gateways to other spheres. I think they are. If she wanted to go home, you were the key to her future. Yeah, she did say she's the future, right? What I can't figure out, though, when did Nilfgaard realize that you were the key to theirs? They knew before anyone else. Yeah, that's true. The elves are already fighting in the north. They may not wear our colors, but they are doing our bidding. And they are pursuing the girl, of course. They're not gonna... Sh Show his face? You have no idea how excited I am to see this guy's face. Well, all of them, but you know what I mean. It was us who killed the elven baby. We would do anything for the white flag. In desperate times. Desperate measures. Desperate. Indeed. That's how I felt when I realized I could no longer count on you. He knows who ordered the death of that elven baby. me find my daughter that's the end Amira's Dooney. Yeah? What the f- So Amir is Dooney. Now that's quite a twist. Why- why is he going to war with Sintra? Wow. That is interesting. What the hell do- So we have to wait, what, another year or two years potentially for the- Oh, I still want to read the books now to see. <laughs> Why? 
Why is he attacking Sin Sintra? Calanthe didn't want Dooney to have. Calanthe was against the whole Dooney Pavetta thing from pretty much the beginning, but I thought they settled that. So why is he having to fight, kill thousands just to get his daughter? I mean, like I'm not. I'm not saying like just to get his daughter. Like, oh, it's nothing. It's just his daughter. I mean, like it's his daughter. He should just come and get her. But it's making me think he isn't able to do that, which is making me think. Calanthe never then accepted him? Um. Uh, okay. That was quite a twist. And you know, now that I think about it, in that dream vision, whatever thing, when she was stuck in the Volith Mare, right? Thing. <laughs> Everyone sort of fades away, and I was looking at him, and he did not fade away. Lovely. And he's the one who ordered the death of the baby, not Dijkstra, not them. <laughs> that was funny. I like how they were trying to take credit for it. He's like, shut up. Caught him red handed. Oh my God, that was good. I mean, I was excited to see this guy anyways, because we've been hearing, I mean, from season one, we've been hearing about this demon who just kills everything and anyone. And... Then he's just Siri's dad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, and that's quite a twist. I like that. I like that quite a lot. So yeah, uh, what a, what an ending. What a twist. You guys hear that? <laughs> Probably can because they're loud as fuck. Uh, anyways, yeah, everyone's coming for a Siri. Okay, cool. So yeah, the, the season was pretty damn good. That ending was incredible, man. What a cliffhanger to leave us on. What a revelation. Oh my god, that was good. So I've written a couple of things down. Where was, you know, they, they talked about it too. Where did they go with a wild hunt? I think that's the name of the game. Oh, let me see. Or is it the last wish? It might be the last wish, actually. Yeah, yeah. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I thought uh, that's what it was. I'm learning. I'm learning about the Witcher world. Played the first game halfway through the second. Well, I don't know if half or what. I don't like I said, I'm at the part with the King Hensilt stuff where they mentioned Philip Islehart. Uh and I don't want to say too much because if you haven't played, then obviously I don't want to spoil it for you. But if you've played, then you know where I am. Yeah, this was a pretty decent uh season. Uh honestly, I loved it. It was the uh, the action was amazing, the Geralt is amazing, series pretty cool as well. Honestly, the only thing that I, I guess sort of have a problem with is Yennefer. Her character is just so all over the place. I even mentioned it during the reaction. It's so erratic. It's so reactionary. She sort of forgets everything she's said before. And she's kind of in the moment and just does stuff. Like, you're like, well, what? She, but the, but th that, you know, I, I just find it weird, but... Actually, if you think about it, that is consistent with her character as well. If you think about season one, I mean, that was similar to that, right? She was a hunchback and she wanted to be beautiful, right? And she forces that dude to do, you know, the surgery thing or whatever that, I don't know what they do, but that transformation thing, right? And she knows what the cost of it is and she still forces him to do. She literally forces him. He doesn't want to do it. But she forced him to do it. And then the entire season, she's just talking about how she can't have a baby and they forced her on this path. Or, and she's like, no, no one forced you. You did this. So in that way, she's consistent that she just doesn't think properly. She doesn't think things through. She just does whatever she wants. You know, but it does kind of piss me off at points. You know, I'm like, come on, man. I want to like you, but... You know, Geralt likes you, it, it seems like Siri's gonna like you too, so I wanna like you too, but you make it too difficult. But that's, I would say, like, the only thing that sort of I don't like, but other than that, I, I loved the show. Season 1 was amazing, season 2 was incredible, the budget has gone up even higher than the first one. I loved it, I loved the fact that they used signs 
Art is the most common one, and that's the one that you most often you use in the game as well. That's the one that's like the main one. That's the first one you unlock in Witcher 1. So it makes sense. It's a harmless, well, it can be very harmful, but it's mostly harmless. But we have seen Igni, we have seen Axie, we've seen Erden in this one as well. We've seen uh, Quen as well. So we've seen pretty much all the signs, the major ones at least. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see like upgrades on it because you can upgrade them. That's pretty cool. Like I said already, the action is amazing. The way everything looks is amazing. The CGI is pretty good as well. But it's, it's really good. I like it quite a lot. The little reveal there at the end, the twist was incredible as well. Overall, I love the season. I really liked it. I have to say in the first season... I mean, Geralt was our um, uh, my favorite character, and I would say he still is in this one, but I would say that Siri has sort of turned it up a bit. I like Siri way more in this one than I did in the last season. But then again, in the last season, she was supposed to be a little child who didn't know anything, you know, so her role wasn't that major. Everything was happening around her, but she wasn't... Like, th she was doing stuff, but she didn't mean for it. Do you know what I mean? To happen, like... So in that way, I kind of understand. But here, they really focus on her character. The training she does, I really like that. And slowly, she's learning about her abilities, herself, her lineage. It's all amazing. The Francesca stuff is brutal as it is. It's good, man. It's uh... So they killed pretty much all the babies there. Wow. Oof. Okay. So that's going to be a war, pretty much. And now they know who Siri is as well, so they'll probably be most definitely be looking for Siri as well. And the people, the the town or whatever that was, that she attacked Redania, I think it was. They're gonna want revenge as well. The Brotherhood now knows that as well who Siri is. Everyone is gonna come for her. Everyone's gonna come for her. And Geralt, I italicized will have to protect her. Will he be able though? I, what is, does Dooney just, if he just wants his daughter, then get old, man, come on. Like, oh, I was gonna say, the law surprised, surprised, the law of surprise was in favor to Dooney. I forgot about that, it wasn't Kalanthi, it was Dooney. So if Dooney finds out, then Siri will be with him, with Geralt. He'll let her, he'll let him ha have her, yeah? Right? That's how it works, right? Child of destiny. This is an ordinary child, though. That's the thing. It's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm so excited to see how they're going to go about it in season three. I love both the first and second season so far. I love the fact that they're increasing the value, you know, the, and you can really tell visibly. You can see that, that the budget has gone up and really putting everything they've got into it. And so it's a brilliant show, man. I like it. I like it quite a lot. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And if you did as well, well, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the season in general. I have heard from some of you that some fans are split on it. And uh, I mean, they have done some things and I've already talked about them that were like a little like, well, what are you doing, man? That doesn't really make any sense, you know? Oh, one more thing. The Witchers, a lot of them died and I'm so sad that they died because, you know, I mean, the whole show is about Witchers, right? I mean, it's more than that, but they're sort of like the main piece. Uh, well, at least one Witcher in particular. So I was thinking all these have died and, and it's there's just a handful left now, like four or maybe or five witchers total um but then i was like well they do have the elder blood which is what they use to make the mutagen to make the witchers so they could potentially have more witchers although i don't know if they're gonna go that route because we all know trial of the grasses and the whole deal i mean we've heard so much about it you know they're the most children don't even survive it so will they do it i mean they were willing to do it with siri so i'm assuming they're gonna do it with other kids too i mean if you're willing to do it with Geralt's child you know but yeah uh do let me know what you thought about this season so i i liked it there were some things here and there that i didn't sit well with me but other than that it was a very good season i enjoyed it quite a bit i had a blast and i hope you did watching my videos if you did drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel like i said if you want to see full length reaction link in description anything you see back there shirts mics all of this stuff uh, i put links in description to that as well so you can find it there thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time until then have a nice